Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. The bit that has materialised is that we're starting to get colder winters. The average winter temperature, it's its not really done much yet, but we are noticing some cooler temperatures at, um, across the whole of the winter from what I've been able to see. Um, nothing like personally noticeable, but from the data that's been collected. As the Atlantic stream slows down, we don't have that warm weather, which means that our actual temperature in winter is going to be a lot more similar to everybody else that has that kind of temperature in the winter um, uh, along our latitude. So we are actually going to be in here in the UK. We're going to be in for some quite cold weather through um, in our winters as time progresses because of the, the warm. So the Arctic warms up. And we end up getting much colder weather. That's how it works. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything here. I'm looking at that. Uh, first, need to fill the tool. I don't think I need to do anything on there. I just come up there beside it like that. And then I move on round like this. And then head on back. I could have this completely wrong. I've never done this before. All I was told is that I can use course play to transport it up to that one. And then I can do it the other way. So to go back again, I'm going to head down this road. And I run down here. We go around this corner down here. Like that. And I will, I'll use this same truck to do the grain moving as well. And then I will bring you over to here. And you've got to stop in front of the course. Don't stop behind the course. So I want to stop somewhere like that. Although that's going to be in the way of that vehicle over there, isn't it? I think I've just gone and... Where's his track gone through? Just looking to see if I can see his... I can't see any sign of his track. You know what? We'll stop here anyway. Okay, stop. Uh, drive course. Let's see if this is going to work. All I need to know now is will it go in, load up a load of uh, slurry, from our supply right there and then take it up to the field. If it does that, that is absolutely fantastic. That is another course that we have successfully got and I've selected the right mode in everything, which would be brilliant. It's at least driving the course. He's going round. He's carefully going around the yard and doing everything he's supposed to do and he's pulling up here. Loading zero of 30,000. You see it's already got loading there at the bottom. It's hit it and it's loading. Excellent. All right, he's all loaded up. He actually stopped. He turned the engine off while he was loading there for a bit. He's loaded up and he's away again. He should just be able to drive on right Yeah, He's able to drive around here. Then we want to go out through here and on past the chickens. Which he's doing. Excellent. So he shouldn't get in the way of anybody else. At least this is what I'm hoping. And he should go up to the one up in the field. This is going to be the big question. Is is he going to be able to go up there and actually tip that out properly? Now, the, the vehicle could go faster than this. But I notice the course play is physically limiting the speed that it's allowing it to drive. It seems to be according to what corners are showing up. So we go around that corner there. Now it's going up to... Oh, no, it's, it's jumping up 55k. 58, 60k. Okay, I like the way that it does limit the maximum speed as it goes around the course. It's sort of carefully calculating what would be a sensible speed and what wouldn't. Now, I brought my course up over here. Is it going to actually unload into our slurry container right here? Not. Why aren't you unloading? Okay, stop driver. Definitely did something wrong there. So why aren't you loading in here? I need you I, I need you to load stuff in here, man. Don't let me down, dude. You're supposed to go up here and you're supposed to pick up the slurry and you're supposed to tip it out here. I go there like that and I'm supposed to unload into that one. Right, I'm going to stop that. 
and I'm going to bring it back down again, and I'm going to see if now it will unload, or if it will do it the other way around, if it will decide that it doesn't want to unload. So, I, it's only a temporary course that we've got. I want to go there and just bring that bit on. Close that off. Right. Going up was on this side. So, if I go over on this side... There, you can see it's got the arrows on it pointing which way to go. So I would go like that, and then I'll go over to here, and first, current, next closest waypoint. Drive course. Now, is it going to go up there? Now that I've put a little bit of slurry in there, is it going to go up and empty into it? Or is it still not going to like it? Maybe I had to actually physically tip it in myself when I was driving the course. Know if I should have done or not. I was loading it up from there. Right, I've, I've obviously got the wrong course loaded on this. So stop driver, clear that one. And what I'll do instead, so that's, that's the wrong course. So it's not bringing the stuff out and loading it in there. It's loading it up and it's just holding on to it. So I, I need to do something different to this. But I'm not quite sure how I should do it. Whether I'm supposed to do this from the middle of the field or whether I'm... Uh, yeah, I, I have no idea. So we'll bring you in round here like this. And this time I'm going to start the course over this way. I'm going to start the course like that. There, so I'm out of the way of the other tractor. That's what I want to do. And I'll go with this one this time. I'll go with that one there. So, start course recording. I'm probably using the wrong one. But I will bring this back round and we'll do the same as we did last time. But then I will drive up to the top and I will empty out up there. And maybe that's something that I actually need to do as part of the course. So, I will bring you in over here. And there I'm driving over that bit. So, I don't even need to slow down on that, in theory. And then... I come around like that. I go straight through the yard over here. I want to go straight up through that way. Out past the chickens and up the track up this side. And then we come back. I might be starting it in the wrong place. I might be supposed to be starting up beside the tank that we've got in the fields. Or maybe I'm, I need to have the other course running in order for this one to be unloading into the tank. Maybe I need to get a slurry tanker sort of running backwards and forwards to this one in order to get it to work properly. But I reckon if I bring this one up here and then I unload at this point, I'm hoping that it will also do the same. But that, again, it could also be wrong. So I'll bring you over to there like that and I will unload into the tanker and I'll actually unload the whole tanker load empty it all out into this one and we'll see if it does do the same because I know that you got one which transports goods from one point to another point and you got another course that um, well it, it'll collect stuff but it won't uh, I don't know if it drops it off or not I'm not I'm not I'm not 100% sure how any of it works really it, it is 100% guesswork. So there, I've unloaded that right there, and then I will swing around this one like that. And we will head back down, and we'll see if this works. I really hope this does work. If it doesn't, then this particular course is one that I'm just going to give up as a, a bad job at the moment, and me not able to do it. But... Hopefully the, the grain course, where we can go and set up our grain being automatically sold. I'm hoping I will be able to get that one working. I mean, to be honest, I'm not too worried about that one, because I quite like manually running grain over to be sold anyway. Uh, you, we will bring up to there, and that's where I will stop the recording of the course. I will just save this. Uh, we'll call this one temp 3. I think I'm up to on the temps. And... Start course at first waypoint. Drive course. Okay. Let's let this one run round and see what this one's going to do. He should go over round to the cattle and it load up a load of slurry. As long as he does that bit, 
And we've at least started on the path to greatness. Let me go over this way. And that was me saying that, you know, I'm... I'm why didn't you stop and load? Right, well, we already know that that one's wrong then. Stop driver. Huh. It's got to be that. It's got to be liquid product transport. But why is it not taking my liquid product and dumping it up the top tank? I'm bitterly disappointed by this. Right. Clear that bit. I'll go in here and I'll delete the course, the, the temp course, because otherwise I'm going to get confused with having too many in here. Delete that one. Probably should have saved the first one. So I might have to go and make another course on that in order to make it work properly. But I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. We're, we're just going to park you there. I'm not going to do anything else with you for a minute. I've got 30,000 litres up the top. And... What tractor am I going to use? Do I use this tractor or do I go for one of the big articulated... Let's use one of the big articulated ones. This one here only ever does fertilizer, so we'll use this one now. That's right, so the only thing that this one ever does is the fertilizer. So we'll do a little bit in the case quad track today. We'll drive this one over. I would like to go and see how our other one is doing. Well, we're 10% left in there. Oh, he's, he's right down here. We, we can watch him, actually. We can see how he's doing. We're chasing around the field a little bit. He's just got 2,000 litres left in his tank. And he's, I think, completing his final round around the outside of the field. That looks like it's the fourth round. Was it, it, might, it might not be the fourth round. It might be the third round. Actually, I think it is. He's got 5% left in the tank. We'll find out now whether this is the final round or if he's got one more to go. I think he does actually have one more to go before he starts working on the land work. Coming up to there. 2% left. Uh, he's carrying on. 200 litres left. Now that one, he, he turns sharp there. Because it sort of spins out round on the back, it, it carries on. And straight away he's off across the field and he's going to go and empty out right that's that's great that's wonderful you in here i'm going to bring you back this way like this and i'm going to back you up there i was thinking of loading this one up down here like i'll load it up at the yard before i head up and then once we get up to the field we can also get another one where we're loading out of the storage tank off the side and that will be... I need to back that in. You, you've got to get this just right. It's not the easiest one to reverse into. I hope if I had it straighter on, to be honest. Right, there. We'll load that back onto there. That's hooked on. All in place. Excellent. And then I will take this back over to the yard. I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to go cross over here. And we're also going to be following that tractor there. Although he goes a little bit faster than what we do. So he may have just about finished loading before we get back there. Notice that this one takes 34,500 litres, whereas the slurry tanker that travels up to the tanker, the, the storage tanker on the field, that one takes more, it takes less than that, it only takes 30,000 litres. So it's going to be sort of a, a time-consuming process. I was going to say, you, you're not loaded yet, are you? No, you're, you're waiting over there. So I want to bring this one over to here. That one's loading up. Then I've got that tanker over there, the brown one, right through there, that we want to do something with in a bit. But we'll, we'll worry about that one in a bit. I want to get this one going first. I can at least set this one up, and if I don't do anything else, I can at least just have a course for this one to go from the field up there, run back down here, and then reload. So that one there is doing a great job. You're going to come onto here, like this. You're going to reload. Oh, it's because I got the wrong one selected. I need to select that one. Why aren't you... Why aren't you loading up? You should be... Lo Wait a minute. Is there something that I need to do to get this one to load? Hang on. Hang on. Let's, let's bring that back over that way a little bit. So it's sort of straight. There we go. Right. Now, let's have a look. Start... Ah, oh, of course. I pressed the wrong button to start filling. I was pressing I to start filling. I don't want to do that. I want to press R to start filling on there. So load that one up like that. And then 
Where's our tractor? Oh, he's, he's already gone out to the field. Uh, he, he's fine. He, he's doing a grand job. Us, yeah, the, the whole moving of the slurry thing, that didn't work. I don't know what I did wrong. I definitely did something wrong. I might be where I was starting the course, maybe. That, that could have been it. Maybe I needed to start and stop the course from up there. So I come down, load, and then go back up, and I need to have my truck parked next to the tanker up there. That would actually make sense. So I might, I might try that next as, like, a, the last thing that I try before I sort of give up completely. But I, I don't need to worry about it too much for a second. I want to get this one out to the field and get it set up. Yeah, it's quite difficult to get this one in and out of, like, the area here with how big this one is. Moving that cattle pen is going to be great because we're going to end up with a lot more capacity, a lot more space to be able to move things around. And that is definitely going to help us. We've also got the island on this field that we've got to take care of. I've got to redefine the boundaries on this field as well. That's another thing that I've got to do. Right, let's start unfolding you. Like that. And then I'm going to sort of bring this one over here like this. I've got a huge great big tanker here. This is a monstrous great big tanker. So I'm going to bring that one back over to there like that. And... Actually, you know, if, 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 as long as we're in the field over here, I kind of want to start the course here somewhere like this. And then I'll go like that. So, first up, I want to go there. And fertilize and slurry spreading. Calculate current field's edge path. Right there, because it's a new field edge path. This one is. is different than what it was before. Then I want to have a look in here. So what did I call this one previously? I got one, two, three, and four. Five I didn't use. I think we called this one six. This one is seven. And this one over here is, well, this one is eight. We know that one is eight. So that's seven. This is six. Field six, this one is. Right. Overwrite field six's edge path in list. Yes. Done. Done. That one's now um, bang on correct right there. So I need to load in field six on here like that. And uh, this one, I would think probably one headland pass would be enough. I will go with turn round, turn radius. I'll, tr well, let's try that then. Yeah, I genuinely don't know which one I should be using. Whether it's the round, it's not the smooth turns because that sort of cuts bits off, and I don't like cutting the bits off. That's that's the bit that I don't like. Uh, bypass islands, simple circle deactivated. Let's try circle on that one. This one here, thirty-six. I'm going to bring that down to thirty-five point eight. We'll we'll cut off point two, so it's thirty-six meters, and then. Uh, Generate field course. I don't know if one headland pass is going to be enough on this one. Although, to be honest, I think it probably is, considering just how big this field is. And how wide a spread we've got on this as well. That will probably be sufficient. There is not many passes going around that field, is there? Back. And let's save this course. We'll, call, we'll just go... Uh, I think I was saying field six. Field six slurry. Like that. Drive course. Start course nearest. First way, waypoint. Like that. And then I'm going to... Let's just get rid of that a second. I'm going to back this one up like this. There. So that I'm easily able to access that point right there. And then drive course. Right. That's lowered down. It's not actually started spreading yet. I was hoping it would have done. Oh, yes it has. It started spreading straight away. Subtle. The the, the spread on the field, you can see it. It's subtle though. It, it is very subtle. But it is doing it. It is spreading. So that's bringing that out to there. And now I need to try and get the, the course set up for that bit up the top. So let's leave this one going a minute. And we'll go over this way and have a look. Uh, it's you that I want, but I just want to have a look at you. You're coming down your final pass. 
And then he should start doing the land. Right, that, that one's going really well. We don't need to worry about that one. That one's going really, really well. You over here, not so much with the going well. So we'll, we'll, we'll do a new course. This time, we're going to start it from the top. So I'm going to go straight up there and get in position where I think I need to be. And then I will start this course from the tanker up here and we'll let it run to the tanker and then back round again. Right, I want the course to stop right here so it's next to this tank. So I'm going to start the course on a little bit further from that. I'm going to start the course just here. So I'll go to there and it's that one that I'm going to do. Now here, what's this? Refill until 100%. Farm silo load. Slurry, yeah. Drive on at 90%. Refill at 100%. Well, I don't know what, I, what else I'm supposed to do. Alright. Start course recording. This is the one that I'm going to want. So we will spin you round here like this. And bring you down there. We'll run all the way back to the yard. Quad track tool needs to be refilled. We will do that in a minute. We will get that in a minute. We're going to run straight down here first. And we're going to go into the slurry. And we're going to reload. The other slurry out in the field is 36% full, so he's fine at the moment. He's not going to interact with us and cause a problem. I do wonder if these coming in through here, this one coming in here, whether they would just drive into each other or whether they would stop for each other. We know that the tractor and the combine working together in the fields, not so good, are they? They're, they're, they're definite, definitely problematic. So I know that this one will fill from this silo right here. It says, fill from farm silo. And then I go round this way like this. And I bring you along this way. I haven't stopped to load. I'm going to take it out this direction. So I'm still doing exactly the same course that I've done before. I haven't changed anything of that. I've just changed the start and finish position to see if that will make a difference. I don't know if it will. Ah, you can see the slurry is very subtle on the field, isn't it? Uh, you can see it there, but it is extremely subtle. And then we go up this way. I think, to be honest, to keep up with the slurry spreader in this great big field, it's going to be a pretty much a full-time job. So then I will bring this one up here to that point right there. And that's where I'm going to stop. Stop there. Okay. That's what I'm going to use for this one. So we will drive course at first waypoint. So he's going to go over to the first waypoint. He's going to swing in way too tight. Right, so far so good. Let's get rid of that. He's taking the speed I used from the recording. I was saying before about how well it seems to be doing, but it's, it looks like he's taking the speed from my own recording. So where I sped up and slow down, that's what he's going to be doing. Which is probably for the best. Because we don't want it going flat out where it thinks there's just a straight line for it to run all the way through. And then in round here, the other track, the tractor out in the field has still got 25% slurry on it. So that one is doing absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about that one. You come in over here and load now with slurry. Please load with slurry. Please load with slurry. Is it going to work? Says loading 0, 030,000 on there. That is loading. And it's loaded all the way up to the brim. There we go. Start up again and you're away. So you should now drive up to the tanker at the top with your full load of slurry. And if all is going well he should stop up there and he should well he should unload as well i'd like him to unload as well but there's no guarantee that it's actually going to do that it might be that it just drives out to the field and it stops there and we load our slurry tanker from this one 
and then it goes and refills and we don't use the middleman over there of that one up there. So I, I, I'm not quite sure how that's going to pan out. That, that might be what this is doing. It might be that it, it's supposed to just go up there and sit and wait wherever we stop the course until I've come along and I've emptied out. So that slurry holding unit is not actually going to do anything. So slow down here. He slowed down as well. He's going to come up to this one. But what's he going to do then? You see, he's going to get up to this bit. Go to the end of the course. And then what? Why are you going around again? It didn't em it Right, this this doesn't work. It's supposed to bring it to that one, and it's supposed to use it. Right. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to go up there, and it's, it's this one here. Like, I've, I've got the... I'm, I'm sure I had the right one there. Oh, well. That doesn't work. I, I, that doesn't seem to be doing what we want it to do. I don't know why it's not doing what I want it to do. Whether there's a setting here I'm supposed to have. It should unload into there. It should get to that point and it should then unload. Refill until 100%. Drive on at 90. Go to you. What's this? Turn speed, reversing street speed. I don't want those. Settings here. Advanced settings. It's not going to be anything of those. Go to this one. Covers... Refill, fuel, no, there's nothing else on here. There's something that I have done wrong on this course, because I've tried doing a course where I unloaded, although I don't think I did the slurry course where I unloaded, so maybe I've done that bit wrong. I'm going to leave that one there for a minute. You are busy working, you're doing every other line, and then you'll go back through, so you're doing... You, you're perfect. You, 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 we got no issues with you. You over here, you're empty. So I want to stop driver. Like that. And this one I was going to do a temporary course over to refill this one. So I will start the tractor up. Fold that up like that. And then clear this course like that. And the one that I did last time, did I do the slurry one? Or, no, I did, I did. I did the slurry one, didn't I? I went out to the field bit and then I did the slurry one. So I'm going to do the same with this one. We're going to go over here. And I'm going to start this one from this high point up here. That would be best. From within the field as well. Oh, no, wait. I'm supposed to do this. This is supposed to be outside of the field. Otherwise, it confuses issues. So I'll do this outside of the field. Right here, like that. And it's not that one. Liquid product. I think I did liquid product transport on the other one. Let's, let's go and have a look. I've actually got it in here. I can... Um Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.